epoxy. Lids. And they're all the same. So I'm going to open it for you guys. So you guys know how I haven't been buying any plants. Um, number one. I've been pretty picky about what to add to my collection and number two, we're about to move soon so I don't want to buy any plants that I'm not really too crazy about. Ooh, this guy snapped. Yikes. Okay, so this guy does not look too good. I'm gonna propagate it. So this is a Senecio. Oh, I'm just gonna take them all out first before I talk to them. Talk about them. Let's see how it goes there. Okay. This completely fell off. completely snapped so this will need to be rooted and look at this leaf yeah, that leaf is a no-go I'm just gonna break that off yep so this is gonna need to be rooted which is fine I can do that am I happy about it no <laughs> so that is two for Two for all. This is the last one, and you see. Okay, so this last one looks the best. that down and then I'm gonna just take this box away and then I'll show you guys what they look like okay guys so I brought a bottle with water um, so we can propagate it together I'm just gonna bring you down a little bit um, let me just see if I can make this a little bit brighter okay so I'm gonna also open these up. Um, let me get a get a bag. All right, here we go. The one that broke off, which is this vine here. So let me just see if I could show you guys the beautiful pattern. Because right now, obviously, the plant is not looking so hot, but. How beautiful the veining is. And then the back side is purple. Do you see that? Okay. So this is actually called the Senecio Mycanoides. I'll put the name on the screen because I'm probably butchering it. Um, it's, it's one that I don't see very often. And the reason why I even know about this plant and decide to add it to my collection is because um, I was watching one of Summer Rain Oak's recent videos that she uploaded where she visited a plant shop in London um, and she talked briefly about this uh, Senecio and she was saying that, you know, well when I saw the veining on the leaves I, I was like so in love with it and she said that 
Um, hopefully there will be some U.S. growers that will have this plant because she would love to grow it herself. And so I, I would also, you know, love to do that myself. And I just did a search online and it, and it actually showed up. Um, so I was really happy that I was able to find it. All right, so I'm gonna propagate this particular one, this particular vine. Um, I have my scissors and then my water bottle. And I think it broke off here. So I'm just gonna cut the stem. Just gonna, yep, I'm just gonna cut that off. Um, I'm not sure how well it's gonna propagate. I think I might actually chop this in, into two. So I think I'm gonna do one down here and here. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Hopefully we can get it to root. I'm gonna stick this whole thing in. Like so. All right, next is this one. This is the first one that I um, opened up. And it is just this part broke off. So I'm gonna propagate here. So this spine, where is it? This spine right here broke off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this leaf off and I'm gonna stick this into the same bottle. And then this, I'm just gonna open up. Ooh, it is really dry. Yeah, no wonder the leaves look like, look the way they do. one actually snapped yes it snapped off as well things again. Jesus. Oh god. You guys know how big of a fan I am of these. Next one is this one. This is the one with the vine that completely popped off. guys I'm pretty disappointed with this um, granted they were not expensive I think they were um, like, I think they were eight dollars each and then shipping was I think like nine or ten dollars um, but I mean I don't know I don't know if there would have been a better way to ship these or package them I'm not sure Okay, so this is the same. Um, I'm just gonna let this one go. Yeah, so that's a goner. So this is the one that probably fared the best during shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
open this up and I am gonna take the net netting out. The soil looks good though. I think the soil is pretty good. Um, it... Oh! oh! Did you guys just see that? It just popped off. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. That was interesting. Ugh. That was not good. And I was just saying, oh, this was the one that survived. Well, that didn't happen. All right, I'm gonna take this uh, fabric off. And I think I'm gonna put this together with this guy here. This one popped off too. I'm gonna put it all into water, I guess. Um, Put it here. Oh, did this not break? My goodness, yes. These guys do not ship well, let me tell you. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this one right here and I'm gonna just stick it all in. They are very fragile. Okay, so let's stick this guy in. Oops, sorry, can you see? I'm just gonna put it in. Hopefully it will root for me. I've never rooted Senecios before. <laughs> um, I'm not, uh, I'm not very familiar. All right, let's do it. And then, all right, so this will be the last piece that needs to be rooted. All right, so that's that. <laughs> I don't know what to do with these guys. I'm thinking of, let me actually, you know what? Let me clean the soil off. Let me just clean the soil off. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna stick these in water too. I'll see. So I will put these two in water as well.